Hi. Welcome to my review for Abduction, the new film starring Taylor Lautner. If you do not know who Taylor Lautner is, let me give you a brief history on what he has done before. Shark Boy and Lava Girl, he played Shark Boy. In 2005, I think that movie came out. That's about it. So, that's his brief history. Uh, he hasn't done anything before that. So, after six years of that fantastic, Oscar worthy, Academy Award winning movie, he decided to come back to acting and star in Abduction, the new action spy thriller. Obviously, I am not mentioning a certain series or saga, I should say, or, that he was in because I'm not going to mention it. He was in Twilight. He was the wolf boy. I know that. Everybody knows that. Why am I giving a brief history? I just want to forget. I hate the Twilight films. And he is the main reason why New Moon is one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. Okay? So, let's get over this and just talk about the movie. The story of abduction. The story of abduction stars, of course, Taylor Lautner as some whiny high school kid that feels out of place in life and blah blah blah. And he's a high school kid, of course he has a crush on a girl, he has parents that are like, oh, um, we're going to be the parents that are like, oh, we can't, we can't let you go out and freaking party and stuff, but it's okay if we beat the shit out of you, because right in the beginning of the movie, his dad, because he got drunk a little bit, beats the shit out of him, and, uh, and, yeah. So, later on in the film, he finds out these two are actually not his parents, and after that, CIA comes, kills his two fake parents, and he is on the run with his girlfriend, his freaking crush of his life, and they are on the run from whoever's trying to kill him, and of course later on he finds out who he really is, and blah blah blah. The born identity, except they switched it with a guy that was has amnesia to a kid that is annoying and was abducted when he was younger. Eh. It's pretty much the born. If you ever the born, the born identity. If you ever seen that movie, it's pretty much like that. The kid, he's on the run. And then halfway through the movie, he decides to bring it all back and go after the guys that are after him. That's pretty much the Bourne movies. And there's even a scene in this movie where Taylor Lautner is like searching on a desk or something for stuff, and it's a it's an ex almost exact ripoff of the scene from Bourne Identity where he's doing the same thing, looking through this freaking desk, checking phone numbers and stuff. If oh, you know, what? I'm, just, I'm getting off track. Let me just say this: the story is bad. It's it feels way too generic, and the characters are unlikable, okay? I'm gonna get over that. Story is bad. I'm gonna give it a three, ooh, damn, three out of ten, okay? Let's go on to the acting. Not much better, really. I mean, I was going to this expecting, you know, Taylor Lautner, you know, he's not a good actor, okay actor, or even a eh actor. He's a terrible actor, just like everybody else is in the Twilight films. So, I was expecting him to really ruin this film. He wasn't as bad as I expected. In the beginning, I, I just thought throughout the whole film he's just going to have that same face like this. And like, uh, take off his shirt. And then, and then flex or something. I thought that's what it was going to be. And for the most part, that's what it is. Except in the first 15 minutes, he's more, you know, active and, you know, kind of fun. A little bit. Just a little bit. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. He's just like acting like a high school kid and you know that that was okay but for the most part he's not very good in the film after that it becomes the Taylor Lautner stares and I'm moody that's pretty much it and what Ryan Gosling could do with a stare Taylor Lautner cannot do so he's not very good in the film uh, you have Lily Collins who plays his crush and she's annoying uh, really annoying I mean she's decent in other films she's pretty damn annoying in this one Alfred Molina who plays a CIA agent that's after him I love Alfred Molina but he's wasted here he really is and whatever you know it's Alfred Molina he is a good actor we all know that he's very wasted here uh, Sigourney Weaver who comes in a pretty embarrassing role in my opinion like the big scene where she's trying to get him out of a hospital she has balloons with her and it looks ridiculous I don't know um, what else? What else? Uh, who else is in this film? Oh yeah, Maria Bello and Jason Isaac, who play his supposed parents. And I actually liked them too in the film. I actually thought they were the best parts in this film. Thing is, they are in it for about 20 minutes and then 
bang, bang, they're dead. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm not spoiling it. It's straight in the trailer. So don't freaking give me crap. Okay? So, uh, they're likable. Who else? That's really it. I'm just going to leave it off there and say, you know what? I kind of like some of the actors, like Maria Bello, Jason Isaac, and even uh, Alfred Molina, who doesn't have much to do. But for the most part, it's not a very good movie for acting. I'm just going to give it a straight up. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 10 for acting. Let's go on to the action. The action in the film is piss poor. I was going into this expecting just action, 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 just like the freaking trailer showed us. And there's about three action scenes and they're boring as hell. I mean, I've seen action movies that I really liked even when the action is kind of boring like uh, Killer Elite that just came out. But at least that movie was actually entertaining and had people I liked. This movie did not, so I did not care about the action. It was boring. I didn't like it. I'm just going to say it right there. I just didn't like it. So I'm going to give the action a 4. You know, it wasn't horrible, but it just wasn't entertaining at all. There was some cool little stunts here and there, and Taylor Lautner can, I think, hold his own, own with uh, stunts, if that's even him doing some of the stunts, but I think it was. So he could hold his own with some of the stunts, but for the most part, the action's not all that great. Entertainment. I, <laughs> I was not entertained. Spoiler. I was not entertained at all. I thought the movie was very boring, the dialogue is laughably bad, the direction was horrible, John Singleton, I know you made some good movies before, but this is terrible. You did a horrible job with this. It feels like just a, a, a movie just to benefit on the star, and that's exactly what it is. It's just the benefit on Taylor Lautner, the star of Twilight, oh he's so, he's so cute, oh look at him, he's a fucking wolf, who cares? You know, oh, he's shark boy, oh, he pinches his cheeks, and oh, he takes off his shirt, oh my god, oh, you know, it's just, it's made just for that, and it pisses me off that it's just made for that, I mean, there's other movies that are made just for that that I do like, but those are entertaining films, this one was not, and I'm, for the most part, most of the people agree with me, IMDB users agree with me, Rotten Tomatoes agrees with me, my Metacritic agrees with me, it's just a terrible film, it really is. I'm going to give the entertainment a 3 out of 10, and if you combine all the scores I gave it, from the 3 I gave the story, the 4.5 I gave the acting, that's a 7.5 right there, uh, from the action I gave a, what, a 4? That's 11.5, and, and the 3 I gave for entertainment, that's a 14.5 out of a 40, which if you want to average up from a, I mean average up, uh, turn it into a 10 rating, that would be what, uh, I'm going to say a 3.5 or a 4 out of a 10. So, there you go. There's my review for Abduction. It's not a good movie. There you go. Hope you enjoyed this review. Hope you don't see the film. Go see Moneyball instead. Thank you, and goodbye.